Okay, I'm back. And first off, you know, this isn't a regular video I make. I've only made one video on Call of Duty, but I feel like I have to make a video on this. So, first off, the gameplay you see in the back is me sniping, and I do not snipe ever. It was double XP weekend. I never used the snipers. I thought, you know what? Might as well grind in some sniper gameplay since I get double XP. So you're not going to see me running, rushing, and quick scoping. You're going to see me uh, being a noob sniper. Even though I have like a 2.0 KD, I don't use snipers. I always rush with SMGs most of the time. But other than that, you can roast me on my sniper gameplay. But the main topic for today is, and I never thought I'd say this, I want Black Ops 3 back. And by that, I mean the core of it. Black Ops 4 is great so far. I don't play Blackout. You know, Zombies has been really good. I really like the multiplayer, except for a few things. One thing I want to talk about is the combat record. How come I cannot check how many kills I've gotten with each gun? I can go back in Black Ops 3 and see that I've got like 6,000 with the Razorback and like 4,000 with the VMP and, you know, whatever the numbers would be for the rest of them and whatnot. I can check how many grenades I've used and all that crap. In this one, it's locked. The game's been out for like almost two months now. Are you telling me that you can put in two gun skins, variants, whatever you want to call them, for 20 bucks and have 10 gig updates every single week, but you can't unlock our combat records? For the love of God, I don't know who runs this system over there. You, every week, there's a 10 gig update. And all we get is a couple skins or one map, which is Nuketown. Or it's like, hey, it's going to be double XP, so here's a 10 gig update. What are they secretly putting in these updates? Because I swear, we're going to be about to get bombarded by DLC. And I was right. Because today, update, 10 gig. Here we go. You can spend, get ready for it, 2,000 COD points. 2,000. $20 which is a third of the game. So for a third of the game, you can get, and here we go, this is the prize possession, uh, uh, two gun variants, and one of them is for a pistol that people should have already owned if you pre-ordered at EB Games. That's right, people. This is literally the biggest money grab. You know, Fortnite. People say, oh, Fortnite does this too, 20 bucks for a skin. Fortnite is free, people. You don't have to pay upfront 60 bucks for a $20 customization, you know? And this is the reason why I want the Black Ops 3 system back. Now get me straight. I love that so far, I'm not making a word in it because you never know, but so far there have been no game changing weapons in the game. There's not a special nail gun. There's not a, a custom AK-74U SMG lockbound supply drops. But one thing that I hate in this game, calling cards, they don't matter. Your emblem doesn't matter. Emotes don't care. Tags, worthless. Like you can literally go and spend $2 in the blackjack shop for a tag. That's a waste of money. I would rather pay two bucks for a pack of gum because honestly, in a fast paced Call of Duty action, especially on Nuketown weekend, you're gonna get a double kill and go, oh, let me stop and do my emote for 10 seconds so I can sit in the middle of the map and then get obliterated. Or I'm gonna stand there and, you know, tag a ducky on the side of a fire truck and, you know, I'm so cool for that. And, you know, I know most of the stuff is, you know, made for Blackout. I don't play Blackout. I think it's useless. I think it's boring, uh, literally. Now, other than that, Black Ops 3, people were, I peep, I would say Black Ops 3 is one of the best qualities next to Black Ops 2. And no one listened to me. Everyone I talked to you about it, there's no way, not even close. Black Ops 3 had not the best main core multiplayer, but it had everything that goes with it. The calling cards, the emotes, the specialist outfits, that's the thing. In Black Ops 4, specialist outfits mean nothing. They mean, they're more useless than a bag of garbage in the middle of your room. And I say all this because nobody cares and nobody sees them. In Black Ops 3, I cared about my calling card, about my specialist outfit, about my emote and all that. Because one thing they had, which I miss, when you finish the game and your team wins, which gives you another incentive to win, 
and another incentive to get score, play objectives, get kills, and go top score of your team. There's a top three ring where you can show off your taunts and whatnot. And everyone sees your emblem. Everyone sees your calling card. You see your calling card. Your friends see everything. Your specialist outfit is literally on point. He's like going down the catwalk. Everyone's looking at you. In this, you go in. No one's going to stop and say, oh my god, look at this guy's tiger outfit that he bought for five dollars you know that's another thing there's no more such thing as going in and uh earning crypto keys to get us pledge up to have a chance which i like more than having oh you know let's grind for crypto keys and play the game no it's like no nah, nowadays it's here's five bucks for my suit i paid for it that's so annoying it's you know when you finish a match in black ops 4 and you're like you got like three thousand score above everybody else don't care doesn't matter because the game ends and then you go on to the next one like do people remember when you finished first you were like you could boast like you could do taunts like this i got an army at my back who's got yours thought you had me i was always one step ahead tacom Get me rap support. Better run. When you're this hard, there's no way to lose. My blade always thirsts for more. Those were the emotes that I would grind for crypto keys. The stuff you see in the background here is a bunch of the black market uh, outfits for specialists. These matter a hell of a lot more than the ones in Black Ops 4. You know, I unlocked an Ajax specialist suit out of uh, reserve or whatever they called. And it was literally, I don't care because of the fact that it looked so bad and literally like you never see it ever. The only time you see it is in the first five seconds of the match where it's like five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And it's not even showcasing because it's just showing the entire team. So I don't know what the point is, but I'm going to say right now, I miss Black Ops 3. I think Black Ops 4 is the worst of the Black Ops series. Um, That's very hard to say, though, because, you know, Black Ops 3, 2, and 1 are insane. I'm not saying Black Ops 4 is bad. You know, I will reach Master Siege in Muffler and Zombies. I won't even touch Black Ops because I'm not a big fan of that, but... You know, I will match the prestige and everything in Black Ops 4. I'm having a blast playing it, but it just seems like there's a bunch missing. Like, calling cards suck. Tags are horrible. Outfits mean nothing. E the emotes are horrible. I don't care about my emblem because no one ever sees it. Ever. And where's my combat record? I can't do anything. And why is it $20 for two variants? Like, come on, and don't even, I'm not even gonna get started on the tier system that takes 200 million millennia to get to a freaking tier 200. Man, but that was just a quick little info video, not really info, just my opinion on Black Ops 4 so far. And if things don't turn around, this could quickly become a game that uh, doesn't sit well with me. You know, I quit World War II. I don't think I, even if it turns bad, I don't think I'll quit. Black Ops 4 because at, at the core of the gameplay it is Black Ops which is my favorite you know style of Call of Duty so there's no way I'll quit the game unless it's like you know the servers have broken and no one's allowed online or some crazy stuff like that but highly unlikely but anyways that's kind of what I want to talk about today I miss a lot of things in Black Ops 3 that I wish were in 4 uh, what are your thoughts and opinions comment down below and hopefully you enjoy this video peace you guys for watching and sticking in till the end you guys are the mvp comment your thoughts down below i actually really do want to hear the voice and opinion of the people subscribe for more content there will always be more videos i'm putting out I love making videos hopefully you'll be here for next time dark views signing out peace